What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I would like to get into another week of Jeff Ulbrich getting some head coaching love. The Senior Bowl just wrapped up. He was the coach for one of the Senior Bowl teams. His team won and got some more praise for someone who should be a future head coach in this league. Before we get into that, if you missed it earlier in the week, we announced that the Talking Jets draft party tickets are on sale. For anyone who is interested, make sure to check out the link down below in the description. You could also check out the pinned comment or scan the QR code on screen. We are very excited for the first time doing an in-person event. We will still be broadcasting live, but if you want to come hang out with us, we'll be at the main event in Farmingdale on Long Island in New York. So make sure to check it out. Okay, here's the quote from Mike Garofolo. Rave reviews from Jets DC. Jeff Ulbrich for his work with the national team at the Senior Bowl all week long. Really good practices, positive feedback from the players, and a nice job yesterday winning the game with a severely shorthanded roster. Jeff Ulbrich, that's not something new that we've heard you know, about Jeff Ulbrich, about him being a future head coach. He was asked by HITP Sports about his experience at the Senior Bowl, and he said, it makes me excited about what could be for my future in some ways. You touched on it a little bit. I know this week is about the players and them taking their next step yep. in their journey, but what was this week like for you, and, and what did you take out of it as a coach? You no, know, I had a blast. It, it forced me to kind of look at things from a global perspective and as far as scheduling and all the little things that you never pay attention to as an assistant coach. So uh, very cool in that way that it challenged me to, to look at the game in a different way. And um, yeah, it, it makes me excited about what could be, you know, for my future in, in some ways. I really like the answer from Jeff Ulbrich. I think that was, you know, pretty open and honest. I think he's someone who wants to be a head coach. It's very rare that you get someone who's like, hey, I just want to be a coordinator. Everyone, you know, they want to move up the, the ladder and eventually get to a head coaching job. And if he continues to put out insanely talented defenses, I think he will get that opportunity. Here's where the Jets defense ranked over the last two years in DVOA. Third this past year, sixth last year. So they've improved every single year. Their first year, they're the worst defense in football in 2021. Robert Sala and Jeff Ulbrich, I think both deserve credit for the improvement going from 32 to six to three. If they are good again for a third year in a row and are a playoff team because of Aaron Rodgers, then I think you will see some more love and recognition. It's very rare that you get a team or uh, a coordinator from a team who is seven and ten who gets hired as a as a head coach usually there has to be you know some sort of success attached to it uh, in order for them to be uh, an external hire at least and when you look at the names that were hired from this past coaching cycle there were a lot of guys on the defensive side of the ball and McDonald Pierce Mayo Quinn Morris that's five coaches that were hired who were you know, coordinators or positional coaches for for some of those teams on the defensive side of the football, which, again, is a little bit rare, more rare in today's NFL. A lot of times people are more likely to poach from the offensive side of the ball because of how the game's changed over the last few years and how offense is so significantly more important at this point in today's NFL. But I always see online, like, the thought, oh, well, like, let's, you know, fire Robert Sala and make Jeff Ulbrich the head coach. I don't see that for the Jets, personally. I think if they were to move on from Robert Sala, they would hire a more experienced coach. That would be my guess. Like a Mike Rabel, for instance. Well, yes, he is someone who's on the defensive side of the ball. He is more that CEO style of head coach. I think if they were to move on from Sala, it would be for someone with experience. And if not, if that's not the case, I personally would rather them go somewhere on the offensive side of the ball. Because really, the, the last two times, the Jets almost exclusively hire defensive head coaches, which some of them have worked, some of them have been okay. But the last two offensive coaches the Jets have hired were the two worst coaches in their uh, team's history. And Adam Gase, <laughs> which was awful in 2019 and 20, and Rich Kotite, you know, in the mid-90s there, which was really tough, 95-96 uh, for Rich Kotite. So uh, I would like them to get back on the horse. I think it feels like 
they hire one. Oh my God, this is a disaster. And then let's hire, you know, a bunch of defensive coaches in a row. Then, all right, you know, we're going to hire the coach that's coaching to where offenses are going. Quote from Jets co owner Christopher Johnson, which was just wild. But anyway, uh, and then, oh my God, that was a disaster. We'll insert Robert Sala. I would like them to get back on the horse quicker than what they did the last couple of times, but. That's a conversation for the future. Moral of the story here is Jeff Ulbrich's a really good coach. The Jets are lucky to have him uh, as their defensive coordinator for as long as that lasts. And as I mentioned, I think if the Jets have a really solid season in 2024 or a playoff team and the Jets are, you know, a top five defense again, that'd be three straight years where he'd be coaching a top six defense. Then I absolutely think he is a legitimate head coaching candidate. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.